Hey, what is up guys and welcome back. So today we're going to be taking a look and testing the ArcBird 5.8 GHz double bi-quad FPV antenna. Now, they're stating pretty impressive things that this thing can reach up to 30 kilometers, which is around 15 miles of range, and it is a 11 dBi double bi-quad antenna. So first of all, if we take a look at the construction quality, it seems pretty good. They're using really stiff coaxial cable here, which is really nice, and the soldering joints look really good. Uh, they look like they're going to hold for a really long time and you're not going to have an issue of this breaking loose anytime soon. So that's a huge plus. However, here on the nylon standoffs, we'll take a look inside what these are actually for once I take it apart. Now, and again, they're stating this thing can reach up to 30 kilometers of range. However, I don't think you can do that with just sticking it on your head. This is, as I believe, is meant for an antenna tracking system. And why do I say that? However, for me setting it up on a ground station and or on my head, like on my fat shark, it's very, very picky. At longer range, it gets, you know, the, the, you have to point it almost perfect to get that range. However, with just rough estimating where the range was, I, I could say pushing it was, was around four kilometers of range that I got with this without an antenna tracker. Now, again, this thing is supposed to be able to go a lot further. And I am currently working on getting an antenna tracker for doing long range testing stuff. However, if you are looking for a long range or some kind of a patch for your quadcopter, FPV quadcopter, I don't think this is the antenna that would be for you in my personal opinion. I would not use this for my FPV quadcopters. So as you can tell right here, here's the construction. It's a double bi-quad here. They've added these little pieces of paper so they don't short out the copper uh, between the sides here. And as you can tell right there and right there, that's meant to be there. Also, if you take a look here, what they've done is to keep it pretty much spot on level. They put hot glue on these standoffs here just to give it extra rigidity and overall st structural integrity. So the overall build construction looks pretty good. This is plastic here. And this is, this seems like the aluminum PCB. Yeah, it does have aluminum. So it's a PCB on the, on the backside and it's aluminum here for the reflective uh, surface. So that's pretty interesting. I didn't notice that the first time I took it out. Now I say it can roughly it got four four kilometers of range to be honest. What I did was is I set this up on my ground station. That's how I did all my testing today. And um, I just set it up on to listen to one antenna, which was antenna A, which was only just one was installed and see how far I got. And at the same time, I did have my fat shark connected using two antennas, which were a mushroom as well as a patch antenna. But that's not the point. The point is to see how far this will get. And you'll see both feeds in a bit right now. Um, overall, I think it's capable of a lot more, but it's much more sensitive and you have to get the direction just right. And I believe you can get possibly over eight kilometers of range with this but currently it's very difficult for me without an antenna tracking system to get over four kilometers even even you know past three three kilometers of range it just started uh, getting really really sensitive and i just had to keep moving it and moving it and moving it and moving it and uh i could get you know every once in a while i could get that feedback in i did try both ways this way and this way i found this way to be the best for some reason and uh i will be retesting this so we can say this is like a mid-range test uh, i can go further but um i you know i've hit the uh, i believe four kilometer mark with the fat shark this one was just um i w to be honest if i was using my ground station to fly i could not have hit that range with just this installed and relying on this to be my patch antenna for long range. However, I'm not saying it's bad. I'm just saying it has its own use. And I believe this is meant for antenna tracking systems. And this is the same company that creates a pretty awesome antenna tracker. Hopefully I'll try to get my hands on antenna tracker and retest this and actually retest only patch antennas. So that's something I'm gonna be working on. Um, but currently if you're an FPV pilot, you know, like a drone pilot, I don't think this is the antenna for you. I personally wouldn't put it because I've gotten some other patch antennas which are a lot better for our use. And again, this is, I believe, for more for, towards aimed towards antenna tracking systems here. So keep that in mind. So enough talking. I'm going to leave you guys with the footage. You guys check it out for yourself. See what you think. And uh, this was the best run out of five runs. And again, I'll do a retest of this. However, I do have other antennas that tested uh, better that were not as sensitive to the direction they were pointing as this one. So, well, that's it, guys. I really hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.